All righty, guys, another day's in the books. The first day of trading of June 2024 is officially complete, and we had a pretty crazy day across the board. The S&P 500 went up around 0.1%. The Russell went down half a percent as the NASDAQ went up half a percent, and we had the Dow Jones go down 0.3%, and the VIX went up around 1.5%, although it's still very low at 13 points. The VIX did go up a little bit as we had the metals. Let me see here, guys. Silver went up 1.3%, and we had gold go up over 1%. So pretty mixed bag day across the board in the stock market. And we had Palantir, which we're going to break down the charts today, go down over 1.6%. So we have a jam-packed video, guys. Hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo. Check out the link down below, guys, or go to stocksurfast.com slash Moomoo. Open up your account and fund it with at least 100 bucks, and boom, you get some stocks. And of course, it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said let's not waste any time let's get into it so palantir pretty much downtrended all day right out of the gate guys we opened up at around 21 dollars and 73 cents and even in the pre-market we were downtrending we started off the day in the pre-market at almost 22 bucks per share we opened up at 21.75 and we went down all the way to pretty much 21 dollars flat on the day we hit that point initially at about 115 on the east coast then we hit 21 bucks again at about let's see 3 p.m so right when power hour started let me show you guys this we double bottomed at that point and then we ended up breaking out heading into close right which is a good sign although we're not obviously breaking the downtrend quite yet from the day by the looks of it right uh, the fact that we did show some signs of buying pressure volume kicked up we got a golden cross on the intraday to end the day i'm liking that that's a pretty good sign overall for the bulls right and pulling back the layers a little bit here on the five day five minute what isn't a good sign for the bulls is the fact that we have a head and shoulders right here you guys see left shoulder got the head right there boom right shoulders right here so maybe more downside potentially although you could argue that the head and shoulders here already played out we have a death cross we're now under the 180 moving average arguably a little bit oversold here so keep your eyes on the five day five minute head and shoulders to see kind of how that plays out and if i pull the layers back a little bit more 10 day 30 minute now you guys can see we're holding above the 180 moving average by a thread which we were under that point we were under it for a couple of weeks then we broke out of it last week when we took out 21 and ran to the mid 22s and now we're pretty much right back to that point which tomorrow at some point later this week even if we take out the lows from today being about 21 bucks again where we double bottomed today then we might see a push maybe to the mid 20s again $20.50 which, guys, that's where I'm eyeing up to buy more Palantir, especially if it breaks under $20.50, under 20 bucks. You guys know I'm going to be buying more. So PLTR not looking the best on the 30-minute or the 5-day, but it's not the end of the world. Obviously, the more you pull back, the better it looks. And really, on the 20-day chart, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, you can just classify this as consolidation, can you not? I mean, look at this. Ever since earnings where we hit the mid-26s, we collapsed, and we've kind of been trading in this tight window between 20 to 22-ish dollars per share, right? If I draw this out, you guys can see we've been trading in this tight window, and we tried breaking out of it last week and earlier today, this morning, uh, but again, we got that head and shoulders, and we failed to break out. So ultimately, guys, Palantir, you know where I'm, you know, going with this. This needs to break the mid 22s, $23, and from there guys, we could really start moving like no other, right? Let me set my alert. Mark is at or above $22 and 50 cents. And for me, I'm in no rush. This is not like it's it's a trade for me. It's a long-term investment. So I'm kind of just chilling, covering it every couple of days, breaking down some news, and I'm looking at this as okay, 
a buy range, buy zone, time to buy as it's consolidating, right? That's just me personally. That's the way I'm looking at it. Um, and I'm not telling you guys what to do, obviously. Do your own research, yada, yada, yada. I'm not a financial advisor. But that's a quick breakdown here on PLTR, down almost 2% to start off the brand new month of June as we're now almost halfway through 2024. Cheers to that, guys. I got this uh, poppy drink today. My wife got me on these. Um, they're kind of like healthier sodas, whatever you want to call them. They're prebiotics for your gut, yada, 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 less sugar, less ingredients. And man, this stuff tastes great. I'm a, I'm a sucker for orange soda, for Fanta. And no, this is not an ad. I genuinely just love these, man. I've been buying the box at Costco, maybe drinking one a day. Probably shouldn't, but I'm a soda guy, kind of. I was a lot as a kid, and I love these now, man. Cheers, by the way. All right. There goes the can, guys. Drank the whole thing already. But, <laughs> yeah, that's a quick breakdown on PLTR. And, again, like I said, guys, the entire stock market today was all over the place. We had some indexes up, some indexes down. Obviously, we saw GameStop go ballistic earlier in the day, uh, which, I mean, a lot of the gains came in the morning. You guys can see if I zoom in a little bit, we hit $47 in the pre-market and we closed at $28 per share. So we did drop 40% intraday, essentially, from where we were in the pre-market. Unbelievable, although we still had a 20% uh, green day. But of course, you guys know at one point we were up, I think, what, on GameStop? 110%, something crazy. So that came back down to earth a little bit. Earnings are coming up here pretty soon on the 11th, so a week, um, so a week from tomorrow. So not tomorrow, Tuesday, obviously the week after that. We're going to be getting um, GME's earnings. So we'll see how that plays out, guys. It looks like we had some movement in the cruise lines today, especially CCL, which you guys can see is starting to break now to the top of this downwards channel, which if we take it out, guys, around $16.50, $17, this could be breaking out towards $18 bucks initially. That was the high from the end of March. If that breaks, $19, $20 is where we could be going. So I'm watching CCL ahead of earnings, which are coming out later this month in about three weeks from now. So keep your eyes on on them let me see what else guys chewy ended up moving nvidia of course ended up having another green day up almost five percent so clearly heading into that june or not june or actually yeah june i keep thinking we're in july this happened to me yesterday i was like i was talking to somebody and i was like july july and i kept reminding myself it's freaking june why do i keep saying july either way they're june 7th Stock split, well, I guess it takes into effect June 10th, but the last day you can own the stock before the stock split is June 7th. It looks like everybody's piling in uh, before that date, right? It's up, again, another 5% on the day, up $53 per share. Unbelievable. And now we're pretty much at the highs from last week. We're about, what, three bucks away. It looks like we're up even more after the bell. We're at 11.55 after the bell. So NVIDIA, guys, call me crazy, but it looks like it's about to break out. And what I've learned over the last couple of months, the past year or two with NVIDIA, don't be crazy, don't short it, don't buy puts, don't be tempted, and trust the chart. If the chart looks like it's about to explode, there's more upside, there's probably more upside. It's probably about to explode. Not guaranteed, of course. Obviously, that won't always happen, but you got to be careful with NVIDIA, guys. It could go up a lot more than you think. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. And of course, get up to 15 stocks for Moomoo Moo with at least a $100 deposit. Use that link down below. Go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo or check out the QR code. It is free money, guys. Get your stocks and you might as well check out my Patreon if you want to be a part of the Discord, see my charts and ideas throughout the week. And most importantly, if you want to see me build out my private portfolio, that's linked down below guys on patreon and with that being said i'll see you later